Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Thank you so much for waiting for this next little part. It's pretty short, but it lets us talk to uh, several of the people in the area and especially get to learn more about Rost, which I've been wanting to do the whole game. So I just woke up and that's why I probably sound funny, but here you go and I will see you in a second. Oh, that was a lot though. That was very emotional. Whee! All mother spoke to her. It's true. Aloy, how kind of you to spend a moment with me before I did you it! Depart. Broke the siege of all, Mother! There can be no doubt now. You are a blessing made flesh. The will of the goddess incarnate. It's really not that simple, Tirsa. But I guess it's close enough. I know the path ahead will be dangerous. To kill a metal devil sounds impossible, but... I believe in you. Uh, thank you. The Nora have suffered terrible losses, Tirsa. What's to become of them now? That will be for the goddess to decide. Only she knows the future. You gotta take action! For the moment, my sister matriarchs and I will see to the wounded. And as I promised, Anyone who wishes to join you at Meridian, we will declare Seekers. I think for the time being, we should remain here in the mountain, close to the Goddess. Um, that might be best. If nothing else, it's a defensible position. Also, okay, so, if those were the first humans I saw in there, like, the first humans since everything went to crap, um... And Gaia said that when I was born, um, that's when Hades had started to take over. Um, so, but something had happened, and, and that's when the, that's when, so, so essentially all the other pieces of her are still intact, but they're somewhere else. Um, I don't know where. Like, they, 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 they've been, I don't know, she said that they've been, they're moving somehow. I don't know how, I don't know how they're moving away from the core program, but they were, they were moving away somehow. But Apollo wasn't functioning from the beginning, and Gaia should have known and taken care of that. Like, and she's kept track of the tribal people outside, and she knows they, they maybe shouldn't be like this. They should have been maybe more advanced at this point, like... And, and she, if she'd known anything, she should have known that maybe her being born, that, that, that Aloy being born without a mother was going to make her an outcast. But I guess, if nothing else, they, I, they did raise me. But they didn't raise me, like, kindly. But they did, I guess. And that's all she needed. But I don't think she could keep super close tabs on what was going on outside the walls. Just maybe what was in here. But, what I mean, what happened... To keep Apollo sectioned off from the beginning. That's 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 crucial, I think, because people could have been so far along right now. Like I mean, I guess I don't know how long it's been since the first humans were born, but still. Tirsa. Please tell me I to know Rost's story. Why he was made an outcast. He never told me, said he took an oath of silence. What did he do? Oh, yes, that. What crime did he commit? I will tell you if you wish. Yes! But it is a long story. Did he fall in love with somebody? Are you sure you want to hear he it He fell in now? love with somebody, didn't he? Yeah, of me. course I want to hear it. Tell me. Rost never committed any yep. crime. He was an outcast by choice. What? What do you mean? Many years ago... Before the derangement, before the Red Raids, a band of murderous outlanders, twelve in number, struck without warning. At Mother's Vigil, they took hostages, and then pressed on, headed for Devil's Thirst. Mother's Vigil? Where's that? You would know it as the Forsaken Village, ah. near the Karja border. But at the time, many families lived there. Ross was one of them. His mate was killed fighting the Outlanders, and his daughter was among those taken hostage. His daughter? What, what was her name? 
Alana. She was just six years old. Nora Braves couldn't stop 12 Outlanders? Or rescue the hostages? It was quite impossible. We outnumbered them, but every time a Brave came within bowshot, the Outlanders killed a hostage. Oh, no. What did they come here to do? That was never discovered. We couldn't track closely enough to observe them. We know they camped beyond Devil's Thirst for two days. There were reports of... strange noises. And then, as suddenly as they came, the Outlanders the made their way back to the border and disappeared. The start of the derangement. And she was killed. I'm sure they killed the hostages when they left. What happened to Rost's daughter? She was killed. Rost was one of the braves who tracked the Outlanders, keeping his distance. There were six hostages still alive when they reached the border. Alana among them. Rather than release them, the yeah. Outlanders slit their throats and left the corpses just across the border, mocking us. Why? Cruelty. They knew the faithful Nora would not leave the sacred land to collect the bodies, let alone pursue them. They thought themselves safe from our vengeance. But Rost. Are you saying that Rost went after them? That he went that he got the bodies, I bet. No. Rost was beside himself with grief, but even so, he would never have broken taboo. Then what did he do? He called upon the most terrible and secret rite of the Nora tribe. He begged to be made a death seeker. Ah. A death seeker? What is that? One who dies to go seeking. And in seeking, brings death to others. The ritual drags the spirit from one's body, releasing it to all mother's care. The heart beats, the mind thinks, but the spirit has moved on. I, I don't understand. Rost went after the Outlanders, but his spirit never left. It remained here with all mother. He gathered the bodies of the slain and returned them. And then he set out in pursuit, not as an exile, but a weapon of vengeance. A barbed arrow shot from a bow, never to return. But yeah, but he came back. That had to be terrible. A six-year-old girl? Like the whole time she's just thinking her dad's gonna rescue her and he can't? And then at the very end she dies right in front of him? And her mother had already been killed in front of her? Like, I hate that. When somebody is, especially children, have to suffer. It's like, if they have to die, at least let them die quickly so they don't die afraid. You know? I don't know. It's sad. But Ross did return. Yes. A full year later. And terribly wounded. He killed them all. He collapsed at the border of the sacred land. A hunting party came upon him. He was delirious, in agony. By law, he should have died where he lay. But one of the hunters broke taboo. Oh. And reaching across the border, she dragged him to our side. Who was she? A brave who'd lost a mate and two sons ah. to the very outlanders that Rost pursued. So, Ross that had to have been a moment. finished his mission. I can see it To in the my contrary, head. he killed all twelve. Tracked them to disparate places the world over, he said. Meridian, Ban-Ur, the Claim, Utaru Land, further even into the Forbidden West. The last he killed nearly got the best of him. Wounded, he stumbled and crawled back to us. Hoping to die as close to the sacred ah, land as he could. That makes sense. He never expected or yeah. asked to be dragged across the border and nursed back to health. That was done to him. Leaving us, the matriarchs, in a difficult position. 
Why couldn't you just welcome him back? Rost had been made a death seeker, Aloy. He no longer had any place among the tribe. By law, he should have been driven back out. But we couldn't bring ourselves to do that, so we offered a compromise. You made him an outcast? Yes. We offered to do so, on the condition he never speak to anyone of this... exception. After all he did, all he suffered, to be declared an outcast was his reward. Rost was overjoyed. He never expected say, probably... to live another day in the sacred land, let alone the embrace so close to the goddess. He resolved to spend the rest of his days in solitude. At least he gets to live in his and homeland. Was happy to do so. You know? Like he was a he was a faithful like he he was he didn't ask to be alive in the fact that like in the end he was given what seems like so much to live so close. Like I don't know if Rost would have even have been able to live among people again you know like he probably he would he would always see the face of his mate and his daughter and and he had been so far and seen so much blood like i don't think he could have i don't think he could have done it this was a in a way i think it wasn't mercy letting him be so close but you know far enough away i don't know if i got interrupted mid-sentence or not but i did have a little bit of an interruption just now but we're hopping back into things if my thought got interrupted i apologize but I am eager to learn more about this. But then you found me and gave me to him. Yes. Another compromise. The matriarchs feared you and would not let you be raised by the tribe. And so we turned to Rost. I knew that he would take care of you, bring you up, teach you to worship all mother and respect the ways of the tribe. He certainly tried anyway. Yeah. You took a man who'd lost his daughter and made him raise an infant girl? Doesn't that strike you as callous? I'm inclined to think the course of events has shown the wisdom of our choice. And I'm quite certain that from the moment he laid eyes on you, he saw you as a gift and never a burden. He named you. All right, dear Sanders. That's quite a story. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's time for me to move on. I thank you for doing what you could to help me through the years and for telling me Ross's story. I wish I could have done more, but I am just one woman. As am I. No need to sell there ourselves you go. short. Nice. Oh, Aww. thank you, Aloy. I will pray for you. Aloy's got a big okay. heart. Okay, I guess it can't hurt. Big heart, big heart. Do we have to talk to you now? My life has been long, but I've never seen anything like that. Tiasa was right. A Forgive, blessing, Aloy. not a curse. Forgive. You've lost your mind. I was so unsure. Oh, not right now. I can't talk. There's still corruption loose in the world, but it will be cleansed. Okay, the talking. anointed will see to that. Anointed. I misread the signs. Forgive. I told you, Lanzra, I'm not your anointed. The anointed has shown us the goddess's mercy. You're gonna treat me normal, she right? I will lead a war party to the Thank you, Aloy. How did you do that? Shusharana. She's the anointed. We'll go to Meridian, Aloy. I'll bring Mother Spear. Arana. Your father is right. You belong here. You both do. Just well, as don't all deny her. Middle, her anointed will cleanse the land of corruption. Everybody better treat me normal. Now I see it is no wonder that you save Nikoa. You, Aloy, are favored by the goddess. I did it because it was the right thing to do, people. Aloy, I saw you go how did you do I that? I saw you emerge. Shush, Shush. 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 It's so hard to believe. <laughs> you are an outcast once. <laughs> and now, well... <laughs> I'm not sure. Kill her. She did their worst. But by the will of the goddess, she could not break it. Okay, you better be normal. What? Aloy. 
you go inside the mountain? You saw what happened. <laughs> Actually, can't see so well down here on the ground. They say she okay. came from the mountain, that the mountain was her mother. The anointed. Oh, hush you. Have faith in the gods. In all my years, I have never seen anything the like that. Away. Aloy, how did you do that? Those who spilled our tribe's blood the heart of the Oh, she's the healer girl! Seems you have a special role to play in events. The our goddess fallen favors tribes you. people call out for justice. The killers will answer with blood for what they've done. She went into all Mother Mountain that and was, was anointed by the goddess. I've herself. never seen anything like that. Oh, yeah. Of course. I've never it's been inside the sacred me. mountain. And Until now. Broken. Where's a uh, borrow? We will show them that we endure. Aloy, how did you do that? Shusharana. She's the anointed. The killers did their work. By the will of the goddess, they could not break us. The killers did their worst, but by the will of the goddess, they could not break us. Uh, hey. The tribe I served is gone. Soon I will be too. The Nora have lost too many, Rush. But in your case, I guess the oh! <sighs> oh, that was. I'm glad we weren't trying to be too nice. Um, I'm hoping that he's a. Uh... There is still corruption loose in the world, but it will be cleansed. The anointed will see to that. Out here somewhere, I guess. I don't know. All mother spoke to her. It's true. Goddess anointed her within the holy mountain. Oh, there were other. Oh yeah, somebody said that there was something I missed once. That there was only gonna be one other time to come back in. Oops. Huh. Some more secrets? If I find more, I should be able to get to that ancient armor I found. Uh, I didn't realize one of them was in here. Somebody said there's like a heavy weapon or something in here though, I think. Maybe, maybe a heavy weapon, maybe not. That uh, I missed the first time around. She is our anointed. Nah, I don't belong to. I like what she said. I like what she said a lot. I'm not. I don't belong to anybody. You know. This was the room that I was in before. The anointed has shown us the goddess's mercy. Man, did I miss? But now hmm. she will show those murderers the goddess's justice. Did I go through all the justice. ways I was supposed to? This murder has brought slaughter to our tribe. kids I'm glad there's kids this is the room I think I stayed in are they are they leaving I think they're leaving any room I'm in maybe Mm. 
Okay, I guess it must have just been the power cell. I didn't see anything else. The killers will answer with blood for what they've done. I'm looking for a barrel. No barrel? Did I miss him? No, nope, I hope I didn't. Dang it. He was standing next to his mom earlier. The snow's got a bite out here. Oh, I was gonna use this to save, but. Oh, man. That was a lot. That was a lot of stuff we just learned, and the music is making me feel very in, 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 uh, introspective. But, that was awesome. So, at least it wasn't. It wasn't the end game, so I still can do some other things if I want, which I probably will. Um, especially, you people, you need to let me know if I have forgotten any quests that you would like me to do. Let me know, uh, because I will do my best to get them done. Only thing at this point to level up really is spear attacks. I don't I don't use the mounts often. sure how this is going to be edited. Uh, it might be a bit long or it might be cut in a weird place. I'm not sure. I apologize if it's weird. Um, because of that interruption, I'm not really sure where my timing's at. But uh, that was that was a freak ton of information. And I mean, Gaia was like, I don't know, she was beautiful. She was absolutely beautiful. And I'm so glad I was able to see so many people that I'd helped there in the mountain but I'm, I'm still hung up on the Apollo thing things could have been so different if Apollo had worked but I don't know why guy didn't fix Apollo from the get-go because I guess it depends on how long this version of these 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 I feel like it's been like a thousand years maybe less I guess I don't know but it's been a long time and they had to, it has to have been enough time that the humans that came out were able to make their various mythologies and slowly forget the origins of their parents, you know? Or like have it be modified slightly. But I don't know. I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes. So thank you all so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one.